In this residency, I'm taking part as a sound artist. I'm working with music and sound art and something that's in between those two fields. I met uh, the Nava community um, with the social center of Bukimakarto. There were qu quite a lot of people actually that uh, have never heard before about sound art, field recording based sound art and soundscape composition. We were tr trying to explore the relationship between us and environment where we are every day, but uh, maybe to try to touch the layer of this um, environment which is not directly accessible during everyday life. I think generally speaking, the, the, the most exciting part of this whole process is uh, being able to get in touch with people that probably I wouldn't meet. The biggest impression for me was this, this moment where I shared something that I do daily and there were people who had never heard of it and there were a few people who got really interested and then they were asking me things. How would I buy the recorder? How does it cost? I'm, I'm curious to try it out, you know. Uh, the kind of people that was at the community that greeted me, was it was very different. It was a, very much a mix of people there, um, which was so interesting, since I normally only work with uh, kids. So here with the, um, with the community when I came, I was pretty sure I wanted to do something with teddy bears, since that is my aesthetic style. Um, but in which way I wanted to implement it was a bit unsure. So I started with doing my regular teddy bear killer workshop, which I've had done a lot of times in Sweden, where I live, uh, which is a chance where people, um, where people get the chance to deconstruct teddy bears and then reconstruct them, going a bit to a conversation about uh, repurposing of teddy bears and then create their own uh, version of teddy bear, either an artwork or maybe just a new teddy bear with four arms they decide themselves. Um, and that was the first workshop and after that I really wanted to create something that we will bring for Fluxus Festival in September. Um, so I uh, went into conversation with the group about what is Dinava and how you can visually um, show that without saying it with words but only saying it with colors or with textiles or with structures. Um, so we created these different kinds of um, textile squares that symbolized, symbolized Denava, uh, which I'm then I'm gonna sew together into a banner that we will bring for Fluxus Festival.